back to Couples Quest. If you're new here, I'm Danielle. And I'm Matt. And today we are so excited to be exploring the south of Thailand. We've absolutely loved exploring the north of Thailand, but we are so excited to be now exploring the south, the beaches and the islands. And today we're going on a trip that I've been so excited for. It's somewhere that I've wanted to go for as long as I can remember. Today we're going on a trip to the Samillion Islands with Wow Andaman and we're so excited to get started. We think it's going to be amazing. We can't wait to explore these incredible islands. But first things first, need to get some breakfast. And some coffee. Yes. <laughs> After around an hour on the boat, we have reached island number four. This place is absolutely beautiful. Just look at the colour of this water. We are going to get off the boat now. We're going to head onto the beach, have a little explore, and of course, go for a swim in this insane ocean. <laughs> look at this. Wow, the sand is so nice. Oh my God, it's so soft. First impressions of island number four. Awesome, this wow. is so cool. So around 10 years ago, I came to Thailand with a friend after I graduated from university. We traveled around and I think I must have been Phuket, maybe like PP Island. I was looking on Google Maps of places that we could go to and I noticed these islands north of where we were and it was the Samillion Islands. I'd never heard of them. I clicked on it, it looked amazing. But we never went and that always stuck with me. I always regretted it. It would have been way less touristic then. It would have been amazing to go. But now 10 years later, I've finally been able to scratch that itch that I've had for a long time and take my first steps on the beaches that I'd seen so long ago. And I guess now that I've done that, we can go home. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what a reward! And they're like, yeah, we can go now. See yeah, ya. we can go. <laughs> now I think now we need to go explore. I cannot wait to just walk up and down this beach and just take all of this in. <laughs> Let's go. I cannot get over this sand and this water. This sand is the softest sand, or some of the softest sand we've ever walked on. I think. Yeah, I think it might be one of the one of the best beaches we've been to outside of Australia. Yeah, for sure. That's a really, that's a strong statement for yes. especially Western Australia and like places like the Whit Sundays. Yes. But this is literally paradise. This is amazing. This water is just too irresistible. We've had a little walk around and now we just have to get in. temperature it is it's literally like being in a swimming pool i wish we were staying here for multiple days rather than just on a day trip i know i think i think you, you might be able to stay on the island here i think you can so definitely look that up because that would be amazing yeah you could literally <gasps> come here bright and early and get it all to yourself uh. Now 
nice hair. Huh? Nice hair. Thanks. Definitely needs a bit of a cut. <laughs> What's this parting going on here? <laughs> little middle parting. I made it worse. If this is just the first stop, we are in for a treat of a day. Yeah, there's a couple of snorkel spots that we go to next. And with this water clarity, it could be amazing. We are so excited to see some marine life. We brought our own snorkels because we take it very seriously. <laughs> and they've also lent us flippers, so it'll be so good. Ooh, some waves there. <laughs> we, they've also lent us flippers, so we'll be able to do a little bit of free diving, hopefully. Yay. It's quite a popular place for um, turtle spotting. Yeah. So there's turtle nesting areas on one of these islands at least, maybe a couple. And he did say it's 50-50. It depends if the turtle's on holiday or not. Fingers crossed the turtle's on holiday. <laughs> That's what he said. Fingers crossed. Hopefully the turtle's on holiday. Or not on holiday because then we wouldn't see him. Oh, but what if he's on holiday living his best life? I don't know. I Who think... knows? <laughs> Who knows? But, but either way, hopefully we see some turtles. Hopefully. Oh. Hey. Yeah, you enjoying it? It's so nice here. That's a good spot you've got. It's a pretty good view. And I've got it all to myself. All to yourself. This has been Koh Miang, the fourth island of the nine Samillion Islands. It's definitely one of the more popular ones. A few boats have brought people. It's, it's packed with tourists now, but it's awesome. We're really good to be leaving. There's a restaurant here. You can buy drinks, food, snacks. You can spend a long time here. Definitely visit, it's amazing. Are you sad to be leaving? I cannot believe our hour's over. <laughs> Do you reckon I, we can just like stow away? I reckon if we hide in these trees we can probably <laughs> stay for longer. This island is absolutely amazing. I just cannot get over this water. I mean we should still have the same kind of water when we go snorkeling now. I mean yeah, I think the Smillin Island is known for this kind of water so yeah. We're going to see plenty of amazing places today. So just five minutes away from where we just were, we've made it to Island 7 and this is a really good snorkel spot apparently. You can see lots of different fish from... Are you okay there? Yeah. <laughs> Matt just fell over. You can see lots of different fish from parrotfish, Nemo clownfish and a few other ones that you said that I can't remember. But we're going to jump in now and see what we can see. Do you want your snorkel? Ready? How amazing is Really good day out so far. <laughs> 
Okay, this is snorkel spot number two. He said there's less coral here, but there's a good chance to see turtles here. And we've had a hot tip that there might be one just over here. So let's go. It nearly bumped into people. It, yeah, like, it did. Actively tried to bump into people. You can tell that this is a popular snorkel spot when the yeah. turtles are just familiar and used to being around people. Yeah, they did not care at all. One guy did touch it, which is not cool. Yeah, one guy touched it. Not don't, cool. Whoever you are, guy. not cool. Don't touch the marine life. No, don't be that guy. But other than that, it was amazing. Yeah. Got to swim alongside it. And then we left him to his own devices. Yeah. <laughs> Let him go find his food and stuff. Oh, speaking of food, I am Ooh, ready yeah, for lunch some next. lunch. We're gonna get back on the boat and head to this beautiful island behind us. This is island number eight. I think so, yeah. And it's the largest of the nine islands. So let's go see what it's like. I'm ready for some lunch and a little yeah. bit of shade for a little while. It's been a we've beautiful been, day. We've been out in it all day, it's been so nice. Yeah, we've been in the sun for about three hours already today. Yeah. <laughs> Literally sat in the outside at the front of the boat, snorkeling and enjoying that beautiful beach. It looks like we're not the only ones ready for lunch. <laughs> I think all this food has attracted... Uh, some of the local wildlife. <laughs> yeah, all this food has attracted some of the... Wo local. All of this food has attracted some of the local wildlife. You get so much food. I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that either. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm bad. so bad. I know. After all that chaos, things quieting down and we could actually eat our lunch. <laughs> um, and now that we're all full, we're going to take the walk up to a viewpoint that's here. Take about 10 minutes up, 10 it minutes back says, down. It says, I've just seen Sail Rock Viewpoint Trail, 150 meters. So yeah, we're going to go up. It's one of the most popular things to do on this particular island. There's a huge rock that sits on top of the cliffs and it overlooks sort of like the beach and I guess the other islands. And yeah, it's only about 10 minutes up and then back down again. So we're gonna go and see that. <sighs> so the way up looks a little bit more challenging than the way down everyone coming down it's just coming down the steps that they're putting but apparently this way you've got to just go through the jungle <laughs> that all we're going the completely wrong way yeah I mean it does have a little arrow there <laughs> to where the monitor is, it's <laughs> probably 
good. Do you want me to grab that? Okay. Oh. This is interesting. Isn't it? Where are you? There you are. There you go. You okay back? You okay back there? I'm all right. <sighs> Want to go first? Not too far to go. Yeah, sure. Oh. Lead the way. Where that big no sign is. <laughs> it says no and then an arrow. <laughs> but this says just arrow. Go. Too big for these spaces. <laughs> I'm good. This is a really cool view. How amazing is this view? It's so worth the hike up. Yeah, it's only like 10 minutes up, very easy. Um, we did it barefoot, so you'll be fine. The views here are amazing. There are a lot of signs around the place which talk about it being slippy, so if it rains, anytime close to when you've been here, whether it's like the night before or shortly before you arrive, then they actually block this walk off because it'd be too dangerous. But if the weather is right, definitely do it. It's not a huge stop, you're not going to spend hours up here, but we've spent 10, 15, 20 minutes up here, just admiring the views, it's been amazing. It's not as busy as it looks from down there, I think, because from the beach you can see everyone that's up here, but there's a nice few little pockets of places that you can go to and you can get some really nice pictures or just sit and take in these spectacular views. We're going to head back down now, we've got about 20 minutes before we need to be back on the boat for one of the final stops of the day if not maybe the final stop of the day so we're gonna go rest up just sit on the beach and just take in everything that we're looking at right now at least on the way down it's steps mainly the rock even though you can do it barefoot it actually hurts a little bit because it's not exactly the softest thing to stand on but worth it for the views uh, the way back seems a little bit more like it's got wooden little sections and steps so a little bit easier at least than coming up oh, you're right there so in a minute <laughs> it's good being in the shade. it is nice being in the shade i'm loving these jungle vibes being right next to like one of the most beautiful beaches probably in thailand it's definitely up there oh And we're back on the beach, which means I am hot <laughs> and I'm ready to get in that water. I think we only have about 15 minutes left on this island, so I'm ready for a nice relaxing swim. My feet are pretty hot and they hurt a little bit from the trek, so I'm definitely gonna get my feet in those lovely cool waters. I mean, I say cool, it's actually not that cool. It's perfect temperature. <laughs> Thoughts on the viewpoint? Yeah, it was really nice. The water here. It's insane. It's like, I promise you, we haven't photoshopped it in. It literally it's just literally looks like, like that. that. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's something straight out of a postcard. Literally. 
It is picture perfect. Matt's gone back for a little bit of shade and I found this lovely little cove all to myself. It's so impressive here, like the granite, the blue water, the white sand and it's so soft. This is a must when you're in South Thailand. I feel like I want to go over here, this looks really nice. We went from up here to down here. Whew, this place has it all. Good views, the beautiful ocean, soft white sand. It's just missing a little bit of snorkeling, but you can't complain. Just wow. I have just noticed our boat is coming in to collect us, which I think is my cue to leave, or is it my cue to stay? Because just wow, that's the only way to describe this place. Wow. I can't see Matt and you can see everyone boarding the boat, nearly ready to go. And I am right, here he is, the boat's going. <laughs> Good job I checked because I thought it might have been on the boat already. But here you are. I'm just chilling, just having a sit. Having a little sit in oh, the I'm shade. So tired. We need to go, the boat's like ready to go. That's fine, I can see people getting on. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, Mr. Relaxed over here. I was thinking we could maybe just stay. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I was really trying to do. Yeah, I said. I just foiled my plan. I said maybe it's my cue to go because I can see the boat coming but then I was like maybe it's my cue to stay <laughs> we've done that before in Greece yeah we have done that before in Greece <laughs> we sat at a restaurant <laughs> and watched our boat leave yeah. <laughs> the restaurant was well worth it, was it one though. of the best decisions we ever made I think we're actually the last people on we need to hurry up <laughs> whoops <laughs> nearly went without us <laughs> We made it. Oh, just in time. No, she really is something. We're at island number nine, which is the last island in the Solomon Islands. And this is our third and final snorkel spot. So he said, in his opinion, this is the most beautiful. So let's go and see those corals. Oh, you're so lucky. Thank you. What an incredible trip this has been. The Samillion Islands were absolutely beautiful and we are so glad that we got to explore so much of it thanks to Wow Andaman. We hope that you've enjoyed this week's vlog and we hope we've inspired you to visit this beautiful part of Thailand. See you next week.